All right, if, um, if anybody who watches my videos actually lives here in Gyeongju, you recognize this place. This is uh, one of the, the Lespo bicycle shops. That's me. Um, a year or two, maybe two years ago, I brought my bike. It needed new inner tubes. So I brought it here and I was given the royal treatment. They sat me down, gave me a cup of coffee, chatted with me while the, the, the man of the business worked on my bike. Well, somewhere along the line, those people disappeared and an ogre took over this shop. The guy who runs this shop now is just the meanest SOB you will ever meet. Uh, so I don't come here very often, but yesterday I had to put air in my tire and this was the closest place. So I stopped to put air in my tire. And of course you poke your head in, look around. Very often there's nobody here, so I just put air in my tire. Doors open and uh, the air hose, the air hose is right there. So when the doors open, you just put air in your tire. Uh, well, while I was doing that yesterday, the guy appeared, the ogre appeared, and he just did a little sauntering out with a glower on his face, as usual. And I said, is it okay to use your air? He wouldn't answer me, he just stared at the bike, my bike. So, okay, so I finished putting air in my back tire, just, just a little bit. It only needed a little bit, a boost. And I carefully put the, the the, uh, the line back on the hook and said thank you very much just glowering staring at my bike wouldn't look at me at all so I don't know I don't know what it is the bike shop near me he hates my guts this guy hates my guts and I don't know why these people hate my guts what have I done I downloaded the um, hearthfire add-on for Skyrim and uh, and I've been building a lot, but I've also been playing the game differently than I usually do. And so, I, but I still I I still like to do the alchemy thing. And when I'm out and about in the real world, and I see stuff like this, I am so tempted. <laughs> Just like in Skyrim, I can't walk past a patch of flowers without picking them. I'm at the um, Hung Yun Sa, Hung Yun Temple, which is considered probably, probably the first Buddhist temple in the Shilla Kingdom. This whole area, uh, south, southeastern, the southeastern Korean peninsula was one kingdom called Shilla. And uh, so they think, I think over there, maybe, was looks like some old um, foundations over there, but they consider this the uh, the site, probable site of the first Buddhist temple in Shilla Kingdom. Um, that would have been they reckon 544 A.D. Uh, Buddhism became the royal religion in 528 A.D. So. Um, kind of, I guess, what we, we would call it a state religion, maybe, but... I don't think they looked at it the same way we do. I mean, not that they had religious freedom or anything, but... But I don't think they looked at that the same way, anyway. There it is, you know, that's a long time that this site has been a Buddhist temple of one sort or another. Probably fell into disuse over the years, up and down, but still. It's a long time. We don't have that many Christian churches that old, and we have absolutely zero mu Muslim mosques that old. Islam had not yet been invented. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry for the wind. Anyway, um, we have here some kind of little fruit. And I think they come off of these ginkgo trees. It's the only tree around here. But uh, um, people have been going up and down the sidewalk there, back on both sides, 
collecting these little these little fruits that fall off the tree. Well, so there it is. I'm gonna take this one home, wash it, put it in my mouth, see what happens. They rode by me a little while ago. Okay, here's one of those fruits that I picked up under the, the ginkgo tree. I don't know how you're supposed to eat it. Tastes like it's got a um, feeling, like a, a numbing feeling, like um, like a green apple, but it tastes like rancid butter. I just I, well, I was gonna pop the whole thing in my mouth. What do you think? I'm crazy? No, I just tasted it. I don't know what that. Maybe they grind them up for something. I don't know, but I don't think they'd be very good eating. Yeah, that tingly feeling, I don't like that tingly feeling. It could be poisonous. It definitely tastes like rancid butter. I gotta spit this out, sorry. I had a good morning, and now I'm going to kick back and relax in the house for a little while. I got some stuff I gotta get done. Some uh, school stuff I need to prepare for Tuesday. But, I had a great day on the bike. Got some good exercise, I stopped in at the sauna. I had a nice uh, sauna and soap, so I'm kind of loosey-goosey, feeling good. I uh, got me some tea here and some peanuts in the shell, so I'm all set to go. All right, everybody. Thanks for uh, tagging along today on my nice little bike trip. See ya.